so um, I've got the Grom V-Line unit here and um, the unit currently sits here. It'll be tidied up soon, but the purpose of this video is to show you how I've um, managed to make the USB situation a bit tidier. So I've got a USB extension cable here that runs up through here, up to the top, and then back behind the head unit. It runs along down here, and then I've managed to, you can actually move these out, see my fingers can come out here, you see? The, the you, you can't see it here, but it pops out through here, and then goes back in, and I have slotted it where the old aux, where the old, uh, yeah, aux cable is gone. But anyway, it's a much tidier way of having your USB situation sorted, so I can leave everything hidden away. You can't just remove the lining from the center console you have to actually remove this this is all one it's all one piece that i managed to get away with not having to remove all of it so uh then you have this piece of trim which goes here right it just pops right up and so if i place it down on there very simply it just pops in like that so in the back here we have the rear vents that they come off really easily you literally like just pull out from the sides and she comes right off and um so this is the um what do you call it the 12 volt um the cigarette lighter switch and then this one is the is the aux cable but again i'm not using the aux cable i'm using my usb which again is here and i've used this little slot to pull it out connect them together pop it back up so i can just Pop it down there now, and then I can tighten this guy up. Um, I lost the other screw, so that's why it's not on there. But you know what? She's going to be just fine. Cool. All right. And so then this guy. And then this little ashtray pops back in. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we've got the Grom V Line 2 uh, running in the car and the my iPhone is plugged in via USB and you can see it's charging there and there's no cables, it's nice and tidy. Um, and here's the phone. Um, but what's really great about it is that it's wireless CarPlay as well. So I unplug it and the music's still playing, everything's still working fine. Um, so I actually, I usually have it plugged in when I'm driving on a long trip because it charges it and I like to charge it when I'm driving. But for short trips, it's really handy because you just keep it in your pocket and when it's in your pocket, you go in here and you can browse all your music, of course, on CarPlay as you can do. Um, and you've got your maps there and everything. And of course, um, that's all great and it runs smooth, runs quickly so really helpful so the next step is to buy a um a wireless charger and the wireless charger will just sit inside here and my throne can just get chucked in and it will charge with having to plug the cable in so yeah there you go wireless carplay on the lexus is